Okay, I'm making this video for a person that commented on wanting to know how. First, I gotta find two balls. I'm just finding two random balls to know how I get Kane at. I started like eight weeks with this. So you can start as young as eight weeks. And this is how. First you start off with two balls. Oh, I forgot. You need to start the show. And it ain't that. The start of the show is right there. You ready to help me out? Come on, boy. Is you going to help me out? You going to help me out? Sit. Sit. See, look, he licking them lips. That's the famous lick lip. Lip lick. Down. Sit. Look at he, he want this. You know what I do sometimes, y'all? I'm going to just give y'all this little snippet. If I don't feel like going outside or it's raining, but I want to get him some exercise, I would do this. I would do about a hundred of these. Just throw them down the stairs. And come back up. Out. Throw down the stairs. And guess what? He always up before four seconds, no matter how far I throw it. I'm going to throw it. Once it hit the ground, I'm going to count to four. One. Two. Three. Four. Well, that's a little off. But he always come within four to five seconds. <laughs> One more time. One, two, three. All right. All right, bring it here, boy. Bring it. Out. Okay. I don't know how this is going to work out. As crazy as he's acting. He all just... This ain't no eight week month dog or weak dog no more. All right. All right. We about to get right into it, y'all. Teach Kane how to do this. So what I did was, because he never brought it back. If I did this, he would run off. So I started off by doing this out. Imagine him being eight weeks. I would. Okay, over here. Come here. Come here. Over here. Sit. Sit. I would throw it up against this corner. He would try to escape. From this side, so I would be close enough that I would throw it, and then I would stop him and take it out of his mouth. So I started that way. I would throw it up against the wall, small, and he'd try to run off with it, and I'd grab him and take it. Grab him and take it. I started that. That was my first process. With the other boy. Then my second process was to. Just imagine we're in the corner, and I'm only doing showing y'all this long way because this corner is too small for him. He's too big. So imagine it's the corner. I would throw this ball, and then show him this ball, I'll, and then throw the other one, I'll, and show him this one. Out. So that's how I did it. So imagine being trapped up in this corner. And the only way the dog would give me, the cat would give me the other ball is I show them the other ball. So then when you do that over and over, they naturally bring the ball to you and they want to play ball with you. So I hope that helped you. Let me know how it went. And you, you already know. 
And as it goes past here, 